All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom Office. And uh, I want to start off this video by apologizing to you guys. It's been two weeks since I've actually put out a video. Uh, not only to you guys, but also the vendors and people that send me stuff for reviews and things like that. Uh, it's been a tough last couple weeks with uh, the real job. And I know that's not an excuse, but it's, uh, I'll tell you what, man, at the end of the day, I'm mentally drained and I really just uh, pushing out a video on anything and everything is just a little too much. It's kind of one of those things also that you just get into the hang of. You you do one video a day, which we got in the habit of doing. And uh, man, it's a really tough venture to do that. It's a real job. Uh, actually, I had a couple of friends of mine reach out to me to ask because they've had some comments from their viewers going, hey, where's KB and is he okay? I'm okay. There's no illness, no problem. Uh, did recover pretty nice from that uh, the COVID thing. Uh, it took me a while to get the uh, the lungs back into it, but after a while, everything's just fine. Um, I'm pretty excited about what's getting ready to happen, though. Uh, I was actually going to go to Vegas uh, to Front Sight to work with some guys out there uh, doing a handgun class. And uh, things uh, didn't quite work out with that. I might do a video on uh, what the rhyme and reason of why that didn't happen. Uh, I'm kind of not happy about it because I was going to take the opportunity to go out there and visit with my friend Dimitri and do some desert shooting with all these new optics that they've got coming out. And I've got a few of them, which I'm really excited about mounting those up on the premium rifles. As a matter of fact, they're sitting right over there. I'll put a picture. That's my uh, uh, wonder wall in my office there. Uh, but <laughs> in any case, um, got some other things going on. I'm pretty excited about doing uh, a review on this thing right here. Check it out, man. This is a G-code holster. And the whole thing stemmed was I was wanting to go out to uh, Vegas. And because it was a defensive handgun class, kind of had my war rig where this thing's sitting on it. I'll show you. Um, I don't even know the name of this belt. But anyway, I'm a big fan of the G-code stuff. And this thing just mounts right up on this guy right here. And you close it up and you are good to go. And I like that retention level system. I'm a big fan of the G-Code there because it is one of the holsters that I use with my uh, Atlas. Um, otherwise, uh, if I was running with an optic on uh, a Legion X5, then I'm, gonna, I'm able to put this holster on here also. And... It has the level retention holster. So it's kind of cool if you're into more of a competition thing, you can bring this holster in. And both of these are actually set up to uh, utilize the uh, Surefire. Uh, this is the X300, I believe. Yep. Uh, man, I'll tell you what, I've had this thing for years. I can't, what's his name? Gave it to me uh, in a draw. It was pretty interesting. So uh, we got some cool stuff coming up. A lot of fun things that I want to do reviews on. Uh, we do have the new uh, Platinum, the PLX-128 uh, uh, with the uh, Raptor reticle in it. That is going to be mounted up on a new uh, upper build. And Kyle, I know I still have your adjustable gas box system sitting right over there, and i got to get on it. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's it. Uh, we've just been really, really busy, and I uh, can't wait to get a bunch of these uh, reviews out to you guys. We'll start back into some politicking. Uh, what's going on in the world today, uh, it's, it's disgusting, absolutely disgusting. And it, it's hard for me to fathom how anybody or anyone can do what they are doing. But with that being said, guys, thank you very much for your support. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, you know, <laughs> it, it's interesting. People, uh, I'll go actually go out and buy something like that uh, Lone Wolf uh, lower, uh, the, the grip module. And uh, the damn thing just, I can't get it to work with any kind of trigger system. Uh, and I am going to have to give them a call. But it's like stuff like that when it happens, you have this whole game plan of how you're going to build on this whole process of certain things and, and it equates to a finished product. Well, one thing can really screw that whole development up because we've got a live free armory slot. We've got, um, I've got the Holosun with the ACSS wrap, uh, what do you call no, this is not the Raptor. This is the, uh, oh my gosh, which one is it? You, see, you hear my phone. It's just, it, it's just never ending. But uh, anyway, um, we were going to put this on the slide. And then even on the slide, I've got a set of backup iron sights. Or not a backup iron sights, but the, the Trigicon night sights, which is an easy install. But it's just, if one thing fails in that whole operation, then it screws up the whole series. And it just screws up my mindset. It's... Uh, yeah, it's 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 long and arduous, but in any case, 
I'm really looking forward to this upper build that we're going to be doing to house that platinum scope on it because we're doing a Seekins Precision Barrel Geisley Handguard M4E1 Upper Receiver. I've got the uh, a really nice bolt carrier group. I don't know which one I'm going to use, but there's going to be a nice one that's going to go in there. And I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what that is. Then we're going to take the four premium rifle builds that I have and... First of all, I want to check for accuracy and the delta between accuracy between all of those guys. Now, there's a company that's going to be sending me a new rifle uh, scope, not a rifle scope, but a rifle, uh, oh, oh gosh, what would you think? It was, you know, where you psych the damn thing in and you put it on there and lock it down. They got a new one of those coming. It's going to be pretty interesting to see how that works and relates to the whole uh, accuracy uh evaluation between these four rifles using all the same torque specifications, uh, uh, the same muzzle brakes, everything. And that's one of the things. It's like everybody can build a really cool rifle. What I want is an armory built with, <laughs> with all matching rifles all the way around. Um, yeah. So also, uh, we've got the, that guy right there, the AK-47. we got to be testing out. That's the new one from uh, Palmetto State Armory. Uh, and i got a, just a ton of optics. We're going to be doing a comparison between... Uh, we're doing a, a ver low power variable optics versus a magnifier. I've got a couple different magnifier brands that are coming in. The idea is just to find time to get that stuff out. So with that being said, again, thank you for your support. Thanks for caring. Uh, I really appreciate it. And uh, that's it. We always end them like this. God bless America. God bless those men and women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Because freedom is not free. Y'all like the video? Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and have already done so. Support the red. Oh, I did that. Never mind. All right. I'm out of practice. Anyway, let's see if we can punch one out tomorrow. Give me a good idea of something political that you'd like to hear me rant about. <laughs> Y'all be good. KB32, I am out of here. Boom.